Are you hesitating to make a career change because you are afraid you will fail? This is something that I think is quite, quite common and, and I talk to and work with enough people to know this is common, especially if you are somebody who has had a fair amount of career success so far. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm actually successful in what I'm doing now. Why would I move to something else where I might not be as successful. So if you're in this position right now where you're going, oh, I really want something, and you do feel first, you know, fearful, first of all, know that that's completely normal. As human beings, we don't love a lot of change. We really don't. Um, that's where we can often sense fear, is we don't know what's coming up next. But this is what I know from, certainly from my own life and my own personal experiences. When I look back on my life, it's not the everyday moments of just going through my routine and doing everything that I'm supposed to do or I should do, or this just on my to-do list. Those aren't the moments I really remember. The moments I remember are the moments or I took a chance on something where I really wanted something. It felt like it was outside of what was, well, I mean, we call it our comfort zone for a reason, what was sort of expected of me, but that's really what it is, what was expected of me or what was normal for my life to that point. It's those moments where I stepped out of that and took a chance. Those are the moments I remember. And when I look back, I am proud of myself for all those moments that I did that because it ended up taking me to a place that was far better than what I was currently experiencing. So if you are feeling that fear of failure, you know, do a little inventory on your life. You know, I mean, what is your track record with taking a risk? Are you, you know, are you a person who has taken some risks and it has turned out well? A lot of the times we do take risks they may not take us to where we thought they would. They take us something different, but that's part of the that's part of the journey. And it, again, it can take you actually somewhere better than you originally thought of. So I'm going to offer in today's video four perspectives, four tips, four things to think about if you are feeling like you could be afraid of failure. First of all, understand Failure is a choice. It really is. Failure is a choice. Mistakes are a given. Mistakes are gonna happen. Mistakes are part of the human experience, right? Mistakes are just feedback as what you've done didn't work. There's probably a better way of doing things. But failure is when we actually decide to stop. It's when we actually decide that, okay, I've, I've made a mistake or I haven't gotten to where I wanna get, so I'm just gonna stop right here and just forget that I ever thought of doing this. I'm just gonna move back to where I was or move on to something different. That's what failure really is, is when we actually decide to stop. So if you are afraid of failing, ask yourself how committed you are. If you are committed to making it work, if you are committed to to looking at the mistakes and just seeing them as feedback? Or are you needing everything to fall in place right away? Because there's a big difference there, right? Like I know for me personally, if I decide to do something, I'm gonna make it happen. If I have to learn new things, if I have to try new ways, I have to push myself, I have to grow, I have to learn, expand, evolve, I'll do it. If I'm committed, I will do it. There is a big difference though between, like I said, just hoping it all turns out without actually doing much to actually make that happen and just magically falling into place and actually having the grit, the perseverance, the resilience to actually see it through. So figure out where you are in there and just, again, accept that it is a choice. It really is a choice. So number two, think about the impact that you wanna have. Now, Impact is also known as, like people will talk about it as, what is your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? You know, you can use those two interchangeably. Just know that it, it's different levels that you can look at your why or impact. So what I mean is, 
what is your impact that you want to have on your own life? Okay, your own personal experience. Maybe you want more joy, more happiness, more fulfillment. You need more energy. Maybe you want to reduce your stress, those kinds of things. What is the impact you're hoping to have on your family, your friends, the people in your life, sort of your, your whole community? And then a larger, what kind of impact do you want to have on the you know people in terms of people you work with maybe it's the environment maybe it's social issues i don't know what it is but you know think of it at the broader level so there's all different levels we can think about what kind of an impact you want to have because here's the thing when we stay focused on what the impact is and keep that as our lighthouse and i really love the analogy of a lighthouse because it really speaks to the fact that there can be a storm brewing all around it right and if you're making mistakes right that could be the storm what is your ultimate goal and intention what is it and if you keep focused on that it helps you navigate it's just it's just a way of helping you work through it going okay well i'm expecting these mistakes but i really want to get here am i really willing to do what i need to do because if you keep that impact as your lighthouse, that will guide you through those times that are a little bit more challenging, right? That's just how this goes. Just always, like I said, there's always going to be mistakes. There's always going to be challenges in life. And this is no different than anything else. So just keep that impact or those impacts, I should say, front and center. The third one I want to talk about is keep showing up. If you are afraid of failure, what is one antidote to failure? It is to keep showing up. It's keep showing up, being curious, uh, asking questions, being willing to stretch yourself, being willing to grow, be willing to, you know, throw away beliefs that aren't working for you anymore, willing to throw away rules that you've made up about yourself or life that just aren't serving your highest and best good anymore keep showing up you know i remember when i started um my new career while still in my old career and i was posting on a social media platform it was instagram at the time and no matter what i just kept showing up i said i have to figure this out i have to figure out how to do this i knew i needed to make a change and i just kept showing up through thick and thin honestly there was days that i didn't want to do it but Again, it was the impact that I wanted to have on myself and the world at large that kept me going, but I just kept showing up, knowing if I did that, the path will actually start to open up. It really, truly will. And that leads me to number four, which is plan, pre-plan, strategize, all those things. You know, one of the things that is so beneficial if you're thinking of making a career change and you're, you're afraid of failing is do all the planning work um, before, look at all areas of your life and what areas of your life do you need to tend to before you start this endeavor? So you can look at, say, for instance, your finances. Okay, so if you're thinking of making a career change, set yourself up so you've got a cushion it takes the pressure off nobody wants to start a new career feeling really really pressured about money like if you're barely making it paycheck to paycheck it might not be the right time but here's the other part of this when we're in careers and a work life that we don't like one of the ways um, that we cope with it is we often spend way more money than we need to. It's like we're somehow compensating. So we're feeling really unhappy in our career. So we treat ourselves to a lot of different things to help us bring joy because we're, we're kind of miserable in our job. I mean, I am definitely familiar with this and I see this with a lot of clients. And what actually happens is when you're doing work where you're actually feeling joy and you're feeling fulfilled and you're feeling aligned, you don't need to grab onto these other external things to help, you know, bring you happiness. And that's kind of a bit of an aside because I think it's important to know. 
Um, there, there is a difference in how you will often spend your money once you are more aligned. But right now, if you are thinking of making a change, you know, look at your subscriptions. Could be monthly subscriptions that you have. You know, even doing things like phoning your cell provider, phoning your cable, your internet company, all these different things. Negotiate lower prices. Look at how you're spending your money. Um, things like eating out. I mean, no one loves to give up those things. So don't think that this is, ooh, you know, yay, I get to give up these things. But what do you really want? Again, it's that commitment. If you want to make a change, is it really that awful to give that up for a period of time? Because it is only a period of time. But again, you'll find that once you do make a shift, you don't really need all those other things as much as you thought you did. There is this compensation that does happen. You know, and if you can start putting some money away, do it. That's what I did, for sure. Because I didn't want to be starting a business feeling desperate to get clients. That's not a way to show up, right? I wanted to show up and first of all, only work with people that I really wanted to work with. I don't want to just be trying to grab anybody, right? Because that's not, that's not how I wanted to show up. So if you can start putting some money away, look at, like I said, look at all your bills. That's just one way you can prepare financially and economically, but there's other things you can do in terms of getting your sort of your life in order. You know, if there's any sort of ends that are, you know, loose, that things that you need to resolve in your life, deal with those first. It gives you a, a stronger foundation to start off with. And then as you progress in actually moving towards this career change, always have a plan, have a strategy. I mean, this is one of the things that I work with in my clients in phase two of my program is actually, what is the plan? We, you know, a step-by-step -step process. And also in that plan, know where you might get hung up. It's not just the steps we need to take to move forward. It's also knowing what we need to do when we hit a wall, when we hit a block right? So if you have all those things out, laid out, and then you just keep, you know, go back to step number three, just keep showing up, keep executing on these things. And one last thing I want to offer in, in tip number four is, although we strategize, we plan in all these things, which I am a huge supporter of process, all of those things are hugely important. Also be open to opportunities and experiences you may not have planned for or seen coming. There's this thing that happens when you, you kind of say to life, okay, I'm, I, I recognize what I'm doing is not working. And I'm now opening myself up to new experiences. You start learning new skills. You start learning things about yourself. You just show up differently in the world. Opportunities tend to find their way and they may not be the opportunities that you thought they would be, but in my experience, they're actually better than you thought they would be. And I don't know, you know, why this is, why this is that it happens that way. It's just been my experience and the experience of my clients. And I'll get a message and they'll be like, I got this call from somebody or I got this message from somebody who asked me if I was interested in doing, you know, whatever it was. And, and it happens or, you know, a stranger reached out to me out of the blue and asked me to, if, you know, they watched something I did or they, you know, they heard me somewhere and they're wondering if I will work with them or they could hire me. Like, it's just funny how this goes. It's just, I think it's it's a really, one of the, the neatest and coolest experiences of doing this is just when you open up, life just kind of meets you where you're at. And I think that's a lot of the message and what I have in today's video is life does meet you where you're at. You know, you show up, you just see mistakes as feedback and you're willing to keep going and you're willing to put in the work and put in the work in your process and your strategy things will fall into place. They're just bound to. If you are committed, again, there's that if statement. So just check in with yourself. How committed are you to actually making this happen? 
So I hope this video has helped. Um, if you are interested in my Pathway to Purpose program, um, feel free to message me. My email will be down below as well as my website. You can actually also book a complimentary half hour coaching session. If you're feeling stuck, you're thinking maybe I wanna do this, but you're not sure what to do next, you know, reach out, let's hop on a call and I can help you move past some of those stuck feelings and help you get clarity to really help you move forward. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this and I will talk to you soon.